troubling new signs tonight about coronavirus in some areas that reopened early. Hospitalizations are way up, a more serious indicator than the number of cases. And today, Dr. Anthony Fauci called COVID-19 his worst nightmare, saying it's not over yet. We get more from NBC's Gotti Schwartz. Tonight, a dramatic rise in coronavirus hospitalizations in some states among the first to reopen. In Arizona, the state urging hospitals to keep emergency plans activated after seeing COVID-19 cases more than double. Health officials now saying 8 out of 10 hospital beds are being used and warning they could hit full hospital capacity in a matter of weeks. We probably knew what would happen by reopening too early on May 15th because the virus is going to do what it does and here we are. This may not be a spike, this may be the new normal in terms of until we get a vaccine. Texas seeing a record-breaking number of hospitalizations, even as the governor moves to reopen bars, restaurants, and amusement parks to 50% capacity. We need to really be um, socially responsible when we go outside, socially distance. You know, I think there's evidence that we're not doing that. 21 states in Puerto Rico registering a rise in COVID, and 14 states, including Arizona, have seen their highest seven-day average growth since the pandemic began. The governor here lifting that stay-at-home order on May 15th, people gathering in large groups again at bars and restaurants. You know, right now we're fine, but if we continue at a, at, at a rate like this, we're facing a significant chance that we're going to have to shut down the state again. FEMA saying community transmission is the highest driver of growth in nearly two-thirds of the hotspots in 31 states. But none of those latest numbers take into consideration what effect large crowds and protests around the country are going to have on the 